Well, guys, we're going to be talking about Chris Cuomo here in this video. The fired CNN host, as you guys probably know, is on News Nation. Now, I've never watched an episode of um of News Nation. He has his show on there. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Hulu Live even has on News Nation, but I don't really care. I don't want to watch the show anyway, but I needed to make this video because Chris Cuomo had a young lady on his show and she actually uh, suffers from uh, Tourette's uh, Tourette syndrome. And when you have Tourette's, you start doing these tits. And for her, apparently it's actually pretty bad. Now, I remember um, way back in the day, like 30 years ago, there was a player in the NBA named Chris Jackson. And by then, I believe he was actually going by um, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf because he converted to uh, Islam. He had Tourette's. So during the game, you would actually see him uh, tick. But I guess he had kind of a mild case. Um, he's actually most famous for actually uh, protesting the national anthem. This is like uh, 1991, 92, something like that. And the NBA actually punished him. He got, I believe, got suspended. David Stern didn't play, man. <laughs> he didn't play. Adam Silver. Commissioner now, um, different story. I digress. But he would actually tit during the game. He would like kind of like do this thing like with his head or whatever. That was about it. He was a good player, though. He could actually um, score point, points. He played for the Denver Nuggets with uh, Dikembe Mutombo. And uh, they had probably the most famous upset in NBA history up until that point where they were eight seed and actually beat the number one seed Seattle Supersonics. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this here because we got the video here. Watch Tourette's guests tell Chris Cuomo to F off. And I'm assuming this is actually on live TV because even Chris Cuomo said he was not going to edit it at all. And it's like a five minute clip, four minute clip, something like that. Even he is kind of um, laughing at it a little bit. I mean, it's not really a laughing matter. You know, it's a medical condition. But I just found it funny that she kept telling him to F off. It's kind of funny. I shouldn't be laughing at, at her. I'm not laughing at her. I'm just laughing at the mere fact that he's being told to F off. Uh, apparently, she's a TikTok star named Balin Dupree. Who says she suffers from a rare form of Tourette syndrome. Repeatedly told Chris Cuomo to F off during an interview this week on something called News Nation. <laughs> yeah. So we got the um, the video clip here, guys. So let's go ahead and react to this here. It's almost five minutes long. Let's go ahead and play this. I was first introduced to Balin. I thought she was just a great comedic actor and, you know, doing blue material, whatever you want to call it. Corinne, uh, who does all the styling here, said, no, you're wrong. This is the real deal. Then my 13-year-old, Cha-Cha, said, no, this is who she is. And then Dusty said it. And everybody knew her but me. Uh, and now I'm totally devoted to what she's doing because it's so brave. And I'm not going to censor her. Yeah, she's going to say some things that you would not want to say yourself, let alone have said to you, which is probably going to be my position. But as I told Balin just moments ago, she's not going to say anything to me. That my whole team hasn't wanted to say since the day that they met me. But I love the bravery. And probably a whole bunch of other people as well, Chris. But anyway. And I love that we can get through the stigma and just treat somebody with decency because we all deserve it. And Balin Dupree joins us now. All right, kid. Thank you very much for coming on. And what do you hope you can do by taking the risks that you take she just so people it. can understand what you're dealing with? <laughs> I'm sorry, do you mind repeating the question? <laughs> Ooh, fuck off. Why do you, what do you want people to learn? Um, I want people to learn that um, Tourette's <laughs> is, neuro, is a neurological involuntary motor and vocal disorder. <laughs> fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Um, I don't tick 24 seven and there's a lot of <laughs> Ooh, little baby weenies, fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. There's a lot of things that people don't understand. Like, wow. oof, people think that cussing is in, is with everyone who has Tourette syndrome, but it's only in 10% of people with Tourette's. And 
How has it been as you've gotten more famous? Do you believe that people are understanding better or are they dopes like me who think you're acting? I say it's I say it's the same. <laughs> I think there's a lot more people that don't understand what Tourette's is and um, they like to educate themselves more. So I get thousands of DMs from parents, from teachers, from girls that have been diagnosed with Tourette's and they've had to be kicked out of school for attention seeking because they rip up, they rip up their homework or do things like that. I've had parents reach out to me asking me, oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> so, and then I also get what? very evil people that would comment and say like, Go fuck yourself, Chris. Lick your baby and blow up your ass. Now, that was a tick right there. That was a massive tick right there. Biscuit fat ass that have told me that my parents deserved to die in a car accident because I'm faking my condition. Or people have told me that, like, I've had to have the police at my house because people gave out my location and said they're going to come torch my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing. Clinically, people suck and they're yeah. mean and they're stupid and they try to make themselves feel better by going after others. Okay. And you are the antidote, my young friend, because you have my, my kids. <laughs> you have my kids Give them the bird. repeating your lines so that it's almost become cool. And not because, you know, it's raunchy. It's because you're being real and you're living your truth. And they love it. They love the bravery of it. And so do I. And I love how you've changed your mission. You were at university. COVID was tough for you, tougher than for most, right? Really blew up your symptoms. And now you want to be a physical therapist because exercise helps you and you believe it's a way that you can help others. A personal trainer, right? Yes. So I go to the gym five days a week and I go to a workout class, um, splitting it throughout the week. Um, I love exercise. My boyfriend got me into it. Um, I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, I love it. It's my it's my release. Um, I obviously go to the gym and I wear headphones, and that's also a very big factor in how <laughs> fuck off, fuck Colin, fuck that bitch. Um, that's also a really <laughs> big like part in my journey was starting out with him. <laughs> well. <laughs> I love seeing him in the videos. You guys have a great bond. I love everything about your family. And I love the story you're telling the people and living your truth. You're and done. My kids. You're done. My, you know what? I am done. I got to go to phone calls because they're blowing up with support for you. Blow so I hope you can leader. watch it at home and listen to everybody who wants to say great things to you. Balin Dupree, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. So you've seen that right there, guys. I believe... I've seen one other person with that type of condition on TV where they um, they kept uh, cursing at people. You know, if they actually were meeting like strangers and the stranger didn't know um, their condition, um, it could get kind of ugly right there, man. But I uh, had to uh, shoot this video because uh, Chris Cuomo, man, he caught a lot of F-bombs right there, man, from her. Nothing personal. It's a condition, man. But um, wow. Um, that was uncensored right there on TV, too. So that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.